Okay, guys. Uh, today we're gonna go ahead and do a uh, transformation on um, Revenge of the Fallen Breakaway. I I think. And as always, come pie. And uh, yeah. So anyhow, um. He's the uh, new Joint Strike Fighter. Well, what about that? Instructions for Jet Fire. Yeah. Um, don't know why that just happened. But um, yeah, he's he's a Joint Strike Fighter, and if he wow, he still has rubber bands on him. How about that? It's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, he's 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 a Joint Strike Fighter. I don't remember the exact name though. And he is a tad bit dusty. I guess that means I've had him for quite a while. And um, he's already got a repaint and a reissue already. Robot stuff. Giant feet at the bottom. Retractable landing gear. And you can obviously see his head. Obviously. And yeah. You know, this is this is the, the type of airplane that the United States military will be using. And it will be all throughout the branches because it can actually hover and take off and all that kind of stuff. It, it's called a Joint Strike Fighter. I, I forgot the name. But unlike the, S, uh, unlike the F-22 Raptor, which Starstream is, you know, he, he won't be phased out at the end of the year by the government. You know, or like the SR-71, like our friend Jeff Fire over here. But yeah, there we go. And yes, like, like I was saying, there's a couple of recolors out there of him. There's a um, a darker version of this figure. The darker scheme for some reason. I don't know why. And then there's a red, a red one. He's a Decepticon, and he has a retooled face. So I mean, the head is completely different from this one, but it's basically the same body, kind of like um, Sideswipe. And honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna pick those two up. And and this figure here didn't re wasn't in Revenge of the Fallen. He was actually in the um, Transformer movie. I mean, video game. So, and I apologize for my last couple of videos. They they've been like horribly long for no reason. But um. Let's go ahead and uh, transform this guy. So go ahead and put the legs down like so. And, you know, like I said in my last review, you know, when, when we were talking about, well, when I was talking about anyway, about repaints. Repaints are, are kind of good, you know. If you miss that on a figure and, and then you, you find it later and you're like, oh, I want this figure and he was pretty awesome and I'm going to get, oh, hey, let's check that out. Gear rock mode or guardian mode. I don't understand why they call this gear rock mode, but whatever. I call it guardian. Maybe because I I read the the books. But fold that up. And bring that in. Pull out the arms. If they'll come out. That was not good. Because they just popped out. That arm just popped out. Oh, come on. Okay. That's right. I need to fold it all the way forward. Okay. And then we'll bring this down. Like so. The arms will come here. And I like this figure because he has got like a built-in gun right here. You, you spin this. This is his mech alive. I don't know if you can see it. But this... This spins his Gatling gun. I like that. I'm not not too crazy about the legs. I'm sure something could have been done differently about those legs, but whatever. You know. I'm not going to complain. Because this was a figure that... You know. I, I felt that I, I probably would have got regardless if, if I didn't see any reviews on him. I'm pushing those going down. And you can you have the option of flipping up the head... I mean the the um 
the canopy. And you can look at his head, and he's he's got some nice, decent, like, piping. But it, it's his head so far down there, and you can, like, do a mod, I guess, and, and stuff, but... It, it's not that important. Not entirely. I don't think so. Um... I'll admit, this figure is... is, it, is it's, His transformation is kind of weird, but it's not totally, totally odd. And it's, it's simplified a little bit. But I like the fact he's got these big hunkin' feet and these nice, large, large heels, so you can stand him up. And he's done that pretty good. But yeah, that's Breakaway. I I don't remember if there was a um a G1 name of that. It, it doesn't sound familiar to me, but that could just be me. I don't know. Um. His arm's a little loose, but, you know, little little super glue, that'll fix it. His hands fold in for no real reason. I don't know why. And his, he's got shin and leg movement. You know, like one of the best type of movements and stuff like that. And you can actually see the stuff here, it says. I don't know if you can see it. But it says, 2008 Hasbro Inc., 2008 Tomy, made in China. Then I have like the limited number run here is nine zero six eight one. I don't. So I guess there's nine thousand of these units made, and they're all over the you know, all over the continental U.S. I don't know if that means in the continental U.S. But there's different ways you can fold, have his wings. You can have them like that, or you can fold them down and fold these down. So it's like that. You know. Decent compression, but, you know, at least we don't have, you know, Robot on the bottom, playing on the top, like, Dark Wind and, um, Jet Fire. And then we got, um, Jet Storm here. Kind, kind of suffers from the same thing, but not, not terribly, not as bad as those other guys. But, you yeah. And, uh, Autobot symbol there. The other one... Is is just a darker color. And this raises a question, you know, I, he's he's caramel color, and him, Jetstorm here, he's he's got bronze coloring, you know, in the plastic, and and that's the way the plastic is. It's not painted, and I think yeah, these are two different pieces. So that kind of raises a question, you know, will this will this figure suffer from plastic rot? You know, the the golden plastic plastic rocks that a lot of Transformers or G1 Transformers and some Beast Wars figures suffer from. You know, will this figure suffer from it? Well, will my will my Jetstorm suffer from it? You know, because he's got bronze. It's it's kind of gold, but it's not really. He's got a he's got a lot of gold. But he's, he's got that caramel. Because I did see um that one guy. Transformation of Mega Zarek, um, Black Mega Zarek. I mean, from Master Force, and he was like telling all these horror stories about how it just crumbled when he transformed it. So I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of worried about these two figures mainly because just of that. So I don't know, but um, hey, if I don't know. It'll be quite some time before these things degrade, I guess. But, you know, if you guys have the same concerns, you know, leave me a message. Tell me if you have the same concerns. Um, and uh, and I, uh, if this figure shows up at the Bullet Shop, the recolored one, which I know it will, I'm probably going to pick that up. Um, but only because it's going to show up at the Bullet Shop. Not at Wally World, because I'm not going to pick it up at Wally World. But, um, that's it. Yeah, that was just a quick little review of Breakaway. Or was it Fallout? I think his name was Breakaway. But yeah, he's, he's, he's a great Transformer. You can get him into Guardian mode or Garwalk mode and transform him back into it. 
these seem nice for you. I don't like this canopy thing deal here. I'm sure they could have done something different, but whatever. Like I said before, he's he's pretty cool. I'm thinking about getting the Channel 7 helicopter one. I'm thinking about it. I might not. I might, but we'll see. So, um, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment. I don't care. Um, and, I don't know. Maybe I'll get a new camera in the next couple of days. Maybe. I've got enough money. But I haven't decided yet if it's really worth the effort. Okay. Later, guys. Look for damage. Talk to you guys later.